always dreamt of building a house and to do it in this position. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> really? You wanted to as well? So we purchased the property in May 2016. We'd had a house that we'd renovated in the, in the region and then when the front row opportunity came up, we thought it's too good to, to knock back and lucky to purchase it with an ever-expanding family. <laughs> That's true. That's true. We sort of spent a, probably a good 12 months sort of living in the house and planning on the design that we wanted because we received some advice around living it first to actually understand what you like about it and the different elements of the property and, and how you compose your new design. The challenge with the, the property was that the house was built in the 80s and as beautiful as it is and was, <laughs> was um, it just wasn't designed as a family house. It was definitely a house for two people. Um, once George came along it, it was difficult to live in and manage the space and yeah, it wasn't a family home. So. And God forbid if you were there. <laughs> oh, imagine. So we've been really lucky with, with family friends that we have in, in Heather and Bill Corker who are retired architects and have a beautiful property on, uh, on Fairhaven. So we sort of designed the, the house over quite a few cups of tea and then um, as we sort of came to the, you know, the part where it was time to submit plans and everything, we went to, to Lee Abbey for, for him to sort of condense the, um, the size that Bill had designed, which was, yeah. which was sizable. Yeah. Um, but to brief and then um, and then yeah put it through through council and, and make sure it can all get through um, and stay within the, the regulations of the surf coast. So who had the final say on everything then? I'm guessing it was Pat. Uh, yep, you'd be right. <laughs> no, yes. It was a yes. it was a collaboration between myself <laughs> and me. Most of you. <laughs> You haven't Nardi shut down as many of my ideas as I thought you would. No. Which has been good. No, I just put a foot down on a few things. We're still we're still debating a couple of things. So. That's okay. No. <laughs> I think when it comes to the idea of house, for me it's around natural light, building in as much of it as possible. The core fundamentals for us, we love the old house where the bedroom was positioned, had a great view over the water. But what we didn't have was the, the meals area overlooking the water and also a living room overlooking the water. So those were the three rooms that we wanted southern aspect over the oceans. One of the, the challenging pieces for us with the design process was the, the bell rating, so the fire ratings that you have in the surf coast. I didn't grow up in a bushfire area, so that was something that I was new to me to actually talk about and, and consider when building a house. So. Um, I found that really interesting, what materials you can use and can't use. It meant that we weren't able to have certain timbers on the facade, so what we've ended up going with was something that we'd sort of planned early on the build, which was a charred timber. It's a product that I think looks fantastic, weathers really well, but is functional. And I think for us, function has to sit above the aesthetic, simply because anything that's, that's not of decent quality just gets found out so quickly in that environment. The spiral staircase for, for me was a really important one. We've got a wonderful view where we are, but the ability to go up just that next level higher and still have it hidden by the roof meant we could capture incredible views right along the beach, but also um, pick up the Spout Creek and be able to check sort of the surf conditions and the boating conditions, um, you know, two things that I love doing. It's a good way to, to spot fish. This is it, we put everything into this house that sort of learnt from the houses, different houses we've lived in. I think we've nailed it as much as you can possibly nail something. I'm sure there'll be things that will finish the build and go, oh, we should have done this, we should have done that. But by and large, it's, it's got everything that we could possibly want. It's a house that we hope to have for a couple of hundred years and the great grandkids and et cetera are still living it. And I don't think we'll quite make it a couple of hundred years, but you never know. Someone will be living there. <laughs>